Suppose we have a game object that has a bunch of children. I can show you how to get all the children references by script, but you'll have to give me a couple seconds to prepare all we need. It's really not that much. We already have the object with the children. Let's create a new script and an empty game object to assign it. Otherwise, the script won't be executed, no matter how hard we try. Inside the script, let's define a game object variable to store the parent and an array of game objects to store the children. In Unity, drag the parent game object to the variable in the inspector, and that's all we need. Consider subscribing before we start. Let's find the children in the start function. First, we create a new array to assign in the array variable. The size of this array has to be the amount of children that the parent has. Here's how we can access that value. Then make a for loop from zero to the size of the array, and inside the loop, assign the iChildren's game object to the i component of the array. The getChild function has to be called on a transform component. That's why here we access the transform of our parent game object before calling the function. And also keep in mind that the getChild function returns a transform component. That's why we use the dot operator here to access the game object of the transform of the child. Let's run this to see that it works. The problem is already solved. Now I'm going to show you how to solve the same problem but using transform components. Let's change the type of the variables to transform instead of game objects. Change also here to transform to create an array of transform components. Inside the for loop you can directly assign the i child to the i component of the array. And with that the problem is already solved. We only need to make sure to drag the parent object in the variable in the inspector. Hit play and as you can see it's working. The difference between the previous method is that now we have the transform components of the children instead of the game objects. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video.